Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Chai Chai O. For the returning subscribers, you know how we do it guys. Welcome to 2023. Happy New Year everyone. This year 2023, it's going to be the bomb. It's going to be the best year yet. So guys, I, I want to take you guys back to my trip to Qatar for World Cup. This trip was about two, three weeks ago. So it's a late post, but it doesn't matter, guys. I want to show you guys what happened and all the events that that took place and everything. I hope you guys will stay and watch till the end. Okay, so this was us. We took, I had a um, Turkish airline. So we had some delays in Lagos before we took off. This was when we landed at Istanbul airport here in Turkey. I started vlogging. The airport was fine. After I've done my checks, I just passed. It's a self-checking. I, I did and I passed and I started vlogging. Guys, at this point, I, I was looking at how beautiful the airport was. This here, I, I could check my connecting flight time and gate, but I, I just looked at it. I, I walked past. I continued. The place was really nice. It was really beautiful, I, I must tell you. And this is the first time I'm, I'm passing through Istanbul Airport. So the excitement was there. My vlogging was, you know, going on. I, I was just doing my thing. When I got to this point, guys, I, I checked my connecting flight time and gates. And I moved on. I continued. I didn't even bother to do like, okay, it was close. My time was closed already. Because I was supposed to have a one-hour layover, actually. But my one-hour was almost used up because we had some delays in Lagos. Instead of me to ask where my gates was and know, to know, to determine how far or close it is so I'll know whether I would be in a hurry. I did not. Guys, the airport was fine. It was beautiful. I kept on vlogging and taking pictures, guys. <laughs> well, I, I mean, what will a girl do seeing this kind of beautiful airport? I need to vlog and show my people this is the Istanbul, the almighty Istanbul airport. I continued vlogging. I continued taking pictures. And I was walking majestically, just like every other person here, forgetting that my time to meet up with my connecting flight was closed. Ha! Chiri. Okay, next thing, I, I started running. When I found out it was far. I, I met up with my flight finally. I was the last person that boarded this flight. Immediately I entered and sat down. We took off as if they were waiting for me. Anyways, they gave me my meal because it was morning already. I had this meal. This flight was for four hours plus. I took that wine, that white wine, thinking I will bring it back to Nigeria because I don't take alcohol. Guys, it didn't work for your girl. <laughs> ah, okay, so... This was the connecting flight from Istanbul to Hamad International Airport, Doha. This flight wasn't for too long. I had a little nap and voila, this was us. We landed at Hamad International Airport, Doha. This, and this airport was also beautiful. It was nice. This airport was newly built, I think. They set it up for the World Cup. It, the place was amazing. It was clean. It was beautiful. I, I just started my vlogging again. Your girl wanted to show you guys everything she saw. But somehow, 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 I started feeling somehow, I don't know. I started feeling uneasy, kind of. But I, I still continue with my vlogging anyways. What will I do? Well, walking down. Guys, enjoy the, the whole place. I tried my best to do, to make a video to show you guys how the place was, to show you the beauty of the in, of the airport. Yeah, the arrival part, how it is. This is it. I kept on vlogging and taking pictures at some point, and. To be sincere, I didn't even feel like taking a picture of myself. I was just taking a picture of the place, not myself. So, this is the waiting area. You can, you can sit down, rest, take some rest, and call 
whosoever you, you need to call if you want to if you don't have luggage but i haven't picked up my luggage yet and i haven't even done my checking so this was the immigration area yeah this part i i went straight i did my self-checking everything was self-checking it was easy right it was it was it wasn't that hectic i checked in i passed and then i went to the baggage area to pick my luggage i got here almost everyone has picked theirs look at me still waiting at this point i started feeling uneasy like was my bag actually put into this flight you know i was the last person that boarded the flight it hit me that my bag wasn't here i now what do i do i had to go and report i still waited we're just few of us left i had a friend from the flight a south african who stayed with me till the end god bless him this guy followed me we went to change our money and then i asked what was this they said it was a gold plated wall that um one artist did and everyone who worked in the airport signed so i liked it and i kidding what will the girl do i haven't found my luggage yet but i mean i had to take a picture i made a video and then i took a picture of myself also for the first time yeah that was me in front of the place my friend took the picture so we started going after i laid my complaint I, that my bag wasn't found. That's my friend. I, I, I continue vlogging, guys. So I took a train to my going to my hotel. If you have your hire card, transportation here is free. So this is me showing my face for the first time. This was my uh, my hotel rather. Um, I've checked in. This was my room, guys. Look at the room. Oh that I paid close to 200,000 naira for, for one night. This room, because of World Cup, everything was expensive in Qatar. Everything was expensive, freaking expensive, guys. What will the girl do? Yeah. So this is it. At this point, my battery was so low. My phone battery was low, both of them. And my chargers were in my bag. And I haven't found my bag, remember? So, what do I do? Here, after showing you guys the view, my battery died. This is where my phone went off. <laughs> what do I do? I had to go to the reception to borrow charger. And, well, that was in the night. So, the next day, I had a battery. I had phone again to vlog. This was where we... We'll take our breakfast because breakfast was included in the um, accommodation fee. Yeah, so this was the place. Nothing really serious to eat. I I went there around nine because they say they stop by ten. I I went there. This was what I had. Nothing. This is not my my typical breakfast, but I had to just eat something. I just had to bite on something. That's it. I wasn't impressed with the breakfast. I I will not lie to you guys. I wasn't impressed. With that kind of amount I paid. Well, I had my tea as usual. And then God sent me this guy again. He gave me his uh, cord. I had to charge my Samsung phone. He followed me. I went to pick up my bag. This guy was amazing. He's from Argentina. And that day they had their match, right? This was the guy I was supposed to go watch my match too. But it, look at me in the morning, going back to the airport, going to look for my luggage. But I finally found my luggage. That was it. So yeah, I had to move rooms because the next day that former hotel increased their their price. The room was increased like almost times two. And I asked for what? I had to leave the place and I went to this place and I got a smaller room for the same price I paid for the other room I left the previous day. So yeah, this was the room. It was smaller, but it was clean, it was okay. And I had one more day to spend before I leave. So why spend more than 200k for a room? All the hotels were expensive, by the way. No matter how small or big it was. They were all expensive because of World Cup. Guys, I learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> Anyways, this was me. I, I contacted an agent to do my visa and buy my ticket 
for uh, like pay pay for my match ticket the agent charged everything together and they were supposed to even book a one night stay broom for me but these guys didn't do it what they did was just to get my hire card which was like my visa and that was it i didn't get match ticket i didn't get any hotel stay these guys like they, they got to my nerves like seriously i've never been embarrassed i went the day I was supposed to watch the match, I went to FIFA ticketing office they, because they sent me tickets. I thought this was the place. I thought the ticket was real. I got there and they told me it was fake. Trust my Nigerian brothers. They gave me a fake ticket and the FIFA guys told me it was fake. Anyways, God was by my side. We handled it well and it didn't, there was no cause for alarm. I didn't drag with them. I had to leave the place quietly. I was the only one who walked into the place with a fake ticket. Guys, tell me if you were the one, how you would react. And these guys didn't refund my money. Anyways, let me save the, 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 the gist for later. This was the uh, Argentina match day. These guys were amazing. The Argentines are so noisy. Everywhere you walk, everywhere you go to, you will see them making noise talking, singing. They were so happy. And I think most of the people were supporting them. Um, well, not like other, the, the other team wasn't supported, but I think the Argentines had the highest supporters. Anyways, this was me walking back to my, uh, walking back since I couldn't watch the match, which I came for. I had to go back and I picked up my spirit and, uh, well, I, I went for sightseeing. What will I do? What will a girl do? I went for sightseeing. Even if my spirit was low, later on, I, it came up again. Trust me, I'm a jolly good fellow. This was me going for sightseeing, going around Doha, the, the southern part of Doha, I think. That's where I was if my brain doesn't fail me. So, yeah, I had to go see some places some things you know this place was like um like an event place this was a market i went to the market area i said okay since it's um close to christmas why not i go to look for some christmas decorations for myself that will bring back to nigeria i got to this market i didn't see anything christmas like i know these guys are muslims but i mean other people are here why don't you sell things that will attract people like things people will buy from you guys anyways i didn't blame them i finally saw tinsel that was all i bought that was all i got from them from this market then i got myself chocolate and then you know that was it i had to leave the market i went to this event place where they had different nations different countries um like this is usa they had brazil they had korea south korea different countries showcasing their culture and you know giving out some shows this was brazil yeah, they had different, but I didn't see my country Nigeria because maybe I don't know. So I just vlogged and just to show you guys the things I saw there. The place was nice. Was, I mean, I didn't regret going to this place at the end. I, I couldn't even go to watch the match again, like maybe in my room or anywhere, put on the TV to know. I, I, my spirit was low, so. I didn't do that. I just went for sightseeing and that was it. So these Brazilians were here giving show and people were gathered. This is the USA part. Trust the Americans and their kind of show. See them. There were so many people and so many countries showcasing their culture and so many things. So yeah, I saw this free henna. I had to go for it. This was my first time having a henna. These Indians gave me this free of charge. I said, okay, let me try this. Let me try this. I did it. And I left. Of course, you know, these guys won't let you video them. You know. So this was me leaving them. And I was grateful. And I, I made this little friend from Qatar. She took my pictures, yeah, she took all these pictures, and this is her, very beautiful soul. She was a twin, by the way, yeah. So, after one hour, I had to remove my henna. 
this place was a viewing center. I was just walking back to my hotel, right? And I, I saw this place. There were so many people here. They wanted to watch the match. This was maybe like an hour before the match or for five minutes before the match. There were so many people here. So many people, guys. And uh, yeah, look at where you watch the match. Girl, I wasn't in, the, I wasn't in that spirit to stay behind and watch. I just left and went back to my room. This was the next day. The day I'm supposed to leave, right? So, yeah. I came here for breakfast. Breakfast was also included in this hotel accommodation fee. And their breakfast was amazing. It was better. Like, I was impressed. This was better than the former hotel where I, 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 I lodged. See, they had hash brown. Hash brown is like one of my best breakfast when I'm outside of Nigeria. I, so, like, they had different things, varieties. I had to pick small, small things here and there. And I got real... Look at my food. I got... For the first time, I had real food. This was typical of me. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. And I finished my appetizer, went for my main course, and yeah, this is it. This is my plate. <laughs> I finished everything. I took back my eggs to to the room because i couldn't yeah this was in the night i was supposed to leave by 1 a.m the next day but i had to leave in the night this was on my way to the airport i took a taxi this time because i wanted to see how the road what the road was like this is me this day it was um, france and morocco that i was playing on the fourth things yeah 14th of, of of december so that's it the whole place was all decorated with these two countries and their players and everything. It was really amazing. It was really nice. Trust these guys, these Middle East guys. They know how to do this. It's their thing. It was really nice. See, look at them. Look at, look at the footballers. Like, all the tall buildings had a decoration of either the footballer or the country playing or something. They did a good job. Yeah, it was nice. This was me. I've gotten to the airport now. And the departure part of the airport, the Hamad International Airport, Doha. This is it. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Yeah, for the first time again, I showed my face. Leaving. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, this is the main area. I think here I'd already checked in my luggage. I think. I can't remember now. Yes, I think I've checked in my luggage here. So I was going to the waiting area. Yeah. Coming back to Nigeria, I had from, from because I still use Turkish Airlines, from Doha to Istanbul, was from 1 a.m. and it was a four hours plus flight but i i had to stay in istanbul my layover was nine hours plus nine hours guys wow i hope you guys are enjoying this vlog i took my time to vlog all of this so you'll see it Enjoy, guys. Okay, so we arrived in Istanbul. This is Istanbul. Mm -hmm. The departure area. Our almighty Istanbul. Our fine and big airport. Now I know how it is. Like, I know how big it is. But because I had nine hour plus layover, I wasn't in a rush. I took my time. Yes, I took my time to vlog. Guys enjoy this vlogging i had i met a french guy who's who also had like 10 hours plus layover he was coming from thailand so the guy made my my wit worthwhile we gisted we were there we gisted and we talked about so many things we became friends yeah so this was it uh-huh the international part of it yeah so 
guys, this trip was supposed to be amazing. It is, but I did not. The main reason why I went to Qatar, I didn't fulfill that. Like, I didn't watch the, the Argentina match. I was supposed to go see Messi live, but I did not. Because of what? My agents used another agent that was fake or that wanted to eat my money. Anyways, your girl had to go start a vlog all around and I, I love perfumes. You know that. I went to the perfume session in Duty Free. There were so many of them. And there was this particular perfume I was looking for from Tom Ford. I went there. The price was so high. <laughs> so high for 50 mils. Did your girl get it? Oh, no. I had to go get some other one. But, well, the perfume was there. Next time I'll plan for it, I'll pick it up. Yeah. There were so many beautiful perfumes and, you know, lots and lots of things to get. But then I was almost out of money here. Just had little money with me. I got what I could. And, yep, that's it. I left that Stomford area. I went there. Like, this is one of my best designers. My best designer perfumes. One of them. I'd not say it's my best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The glass session. I was just showing you guys this. I'm not a fan of eyeglasses. Eyeglass or... I was just showing you guys. They were all nice anyway. This is my henna. Did I show you guys? My henna came out very well. Very fine. Yeah, so this is me again. Going back to Nigeria. Hey guys, so that was it. I hope you did enjoy it. Please go to the comment section and tell me what you liked about it or what you think I would have done differently or how I would have reacted. And guys, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Thank you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Ciao, ciao.